good clean water but not everybody's got a mountain stream in their backyard but there are ways to collect and save water this is a earthen dam just a ranch built earthen dam this canyon has water come down through it that dam is 50 yards wide and 10 foot high this rancher is allowed to stockpile a million gallons of water give or take and yet they don't want you to have a barrel with 50 gallons of water in it to help water or to help feed your family or to give your child a garden come on the same government that says here's free food and food stamps in food stamps but we don't want you to grow your own food. A little bit of history on water rates. My wife and I got married back in 1973. Moved here, where we are now, 39 years ago. You bet. The, uh, the trick was, though, that uh, I made $2 an hour. That was my wage back then, $2 an hour. But uh, the average water bill was $2 a month. $2 a month for a water bill, my wage was $2. Now you'd say, well, okay, but today water rates have increased massively. To give you an example, that one gallon of water back then cost one-tenth of one penny. You see, that water back then, in other words, you could get 10 gallons of water for one penny. Today it costs eight cents, eight cents, to buy a gallon of water. Eight cents with all of the other side stuff that they stick into it. Mm -hmm. Eight cents. If you do the math on that, today it's awfully hard to have a water bill that is less than sixty dollars a month. Less than sixty dollars a month. You say, well your wage is increased. That's correct. My highest paying wage of the four part-time jobs I have is $8 an hour. I said $8 an hour. To have made it fair, to make it fair, and if it isn't fair, it's criminal. To make it fair, I should be getting $60 an hour. Because back then, my $2 paid for $2 a month's worth of water. One hour's wage paid for one month's water. But it doesn't do that anymore, does it? No, not hardly. To give an example, in 1973, a gallon of gas cost 39 cents for one gallon of gasoline in 1973, 39 years ago. Today, if it had went up the same amount that water has went up, if it went up the same amount, that gallon of gas would cost $30 a gallon. I said $30 a gallon. Does that give you an indication of what kind of uh, hypocrisy and criminal acts against the poor that have been leveled at us? And that's why rain barrels are so important. So that we're clear on this, one inch of rain will give me off of my roofs 1,100 gallons of water. 1,100 gallons in my stock tanks and rain barrels. And that's enough to get me almost 40 days down the road of watering my garden and my plants that will produce food. Unlike the government that gets paid whether they do any work or not, I have to see success and I have to do the very most with the least. And if God gives me the gift of rain Rest assured, I'm not going to let it just flow down the street. I'm going to save as much as I can, and I'm going to utilize every drop that I can so that I can produce food instead of taking food stamps or some other government aid. It's McCook's Mr. Bill saying it's that important for everyone to start looking at it that way. So whether you're looking at a 200 gallon stock tank or I've got some 300 gallon stock tanks or just 50 gallon rain barrels whatever you start with rest assured you are going to be successful at what you do if you use rainwater. now there does need to be some safety 
Now, when I get this turned over and get it set up for the spring, I will cover it with boards to keep any pets and or children from getting into it. And I'll take a packet of lemonade, just a little 10 or 20 cent pack of lemonade, and I'll dump in there. And about every other week, I'll throw another pack of lemonade in there. That kills the mosquito problem. I said it kills it. And so, whether you've got barrels or any other thing, you want to keep, again, children safe and pets safe. And then you want the area safe by making sure the mosquitoes can't get started. But rain barrels are a godsend and a weapon that should be in every survivalist and every homeowner's arsenal. Rate this film.